Hi guys and welcome to this new kind of videos. So I've been looking into what is going on at the moment and a lot of people are sitting home and they have to look inside. They have to deal with their inner child and their hurt emotions and whatever have been from the past. Um, so I thought what if we can help you guys <laughs> seeing these characters from the inside to help you understand what is going on on the other side of the table. So a lot of you guys have been through abusive situations or met psychopaths, social, uh, social, 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 what? Sociopath? Sorry. <laughs> Um, or you may not understand people with eating disorder or hyperactivity or high sensitive or stuff like that. So I would really love if you guys would uh, send us uh, in the comments below. Let us know which character you have the urge to understand. And even if it is yourself, we would love to bring up the subject and uh, look at it from the inside. So without further ado. Um the character we're gonna look into today, the first one we're gonna look into today will be the high sensitive one. Yeah, this one is gonna be easy for me. I don't have to change that much character. So what I wanna do is I just wanna talk for the energy of the highly sensitive people as a collective. So maybe you can understand it through uh, it flew me. Okay. I see and I feel the world in a much deeper level than I can express in words. It is as if tones feels higher and it reads deeper. It is as if emotions hit me so deep as if there was no tomorrow. It doesn't only matter for the heavy ones, but also for the light ones. When the sun is shining, I feel as if I am the sun. When somebody's crying in the movie, I feel as if I am part of that movie, as if it is my heart that is broken. Being highly sensitive means that, that, that walking on the street can be a journey because you sense and you feel and you observe everything surrounding you. You take it in as if it's either against you or a part of you. And to really truly know the difference is not always easy. It takes time to learn what is coming from the outside and what is coming from the inside. Being highly sensitive also means that, that when people come with their outrushing energies it may feel like abuse or overload and it may scare and may scare the highly sensitive person because it feels so violent imagine that imagine that you have the the abilities of superman right and you you can hear and you can sense and you can feel it so deep but you are not self-aware that you have the strength so many highly sensitive people get scared, they feel overused, they feel overloaded and they go into this depression kind of state because they have not learned the value within their own essence. They have not learned fully to stand up in the beauty of existence um, because that everything outside of themselves feels so much that it's hard for them to see that what is inside of them is exactly as much the other way around. So the good side of being highly sensitive is that you can create, you can see magic within every moment. You can feel, you can sense, you can observe into the deepest level of existence. And listening to a piece of music is what would be for a regular person a trip of LSD. There is nothing in between. It's either full on or not at all. The negative side is that just walking out of your door can be super heavy. 
to go shop in a shopping mall can feel almost as if abusive as if somebody would beat you up because energetically you get so many impulses that it's hard for you to function in that regular day. You cannot not listen to your true self. So if you don't like to go to work, you barely can get your body out. Your body will have symptoms. You will get ill, even that you want to push through. It is simply impossible because you observe and you see and feel every single feeling and impulse that come from your inside. It's hard for you to stand up for yourself. It is a journey to learn to speak your truth. But the positive side of highly sensitive is a highly sensitive imbalance. It is that moment where you realize that you were created exactly the way that you were supposed to be created. That you were sent here to see and feel and be and experience on such a deep level that you cannot stay in the old structure the way it were. You were sent here to recreate that structure by not fitting in. So highly sensitive imbalance means that you learn to trust your own value within your sensitivity. You learn to stand up for yourself, but not in outbursts of anger, but in truly just respecting your own center. And you get to learn to know your borders. Highly sensitive people have real issues with knowing their borders. Like, do we have them? <laughs> so when you get in balance, you get to know your borders. And as more you get to learn to know your borders, as more freedom and space do you create within yourself. And from there, we can change this world together. So to all you high sensitive people out there, thank you. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Thank you for being part of this shift. Thank you for standing up for yourself. And even if you're not ready to stand up for yourself, then still thank you for being here. Because without you, no matter which state you're in, without you, we could not change this reality that we are about to change. Namaste.